Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel DIY with Mini John. I am Nishant and this is my basement workshop. In this video I am going to show you how to make a laser enclosure box for an open laser like this. If you have a laser like this then you are aware of the issues that come with such a machine. The first thing is that you always have to wear your safety goggles as long as the machine is engraving. The second issue is that all the components of this machine are open, even the timing belt. So if it accumulates dust, then it will suffer premature failure. In a workshop environment like my workshop, I have all the woodworking machines running parallelly to the laser machine. So I have to prevent dust accumulating in the laser machine as well as I cannot wear my laser goggles all the time so that I can focus on the other work that I am doing. So making a laser box will separate the machine and keep the machine safe as well as my eyes from the laser. Now in the laser box I will be installing four of these LEDs so that I can clearly see and position my work inside. The second thing I am going to install is this exhaust. It's a small 6 inch pipe exhaust that's usually used in small bathrooms or kitchens. And we will install this extension board with individual switches to control everything. And on the lid, I will install this translucent red laser proof acrylic that will enable me to see what I'm engraving and if there are any issues then I can quickly turn off the machine. I will use a base ply that I have been using with this laser and I will make a box around it and I will take you through the step by step process. This is the base that I have been using with my laser machine. It's a 18mm good quality plywood. It's very important that the base for your laser has to be perfectly flat because if there are any warping or any other issues, it will interfere with your engraving process. And these are the riser blocks that I have made. So they simply slide and fit into this. That allows me to raise my piece without having to change the settings of the main machine. So if I have a thinner piece then I can place one more piece like this. Let it go all the way in and then place my work piece on top of that. So I am going to use the same setup. I am simply going to build a box around this. It's about 26 inches in this direction and about 19 inches in this. So I'm going to use this 10 mm laminated board. It's good to use a laminated board for the insides of the box because it, the white laminate will increase the light and also it will not absorb the fumes. I will start with cutting this plywood to size. Before using any power tool like this, please make sure that you have received proper training and you are aware of the dangers associated with using a power tool like this. Always keep all the safety guards on and use a hearing protection and a eye protection. Now that I have the four sides cut, I will make some minor adjustments and prepare the edges for making the box. I will go ahead and make a cut using this hole saw for the exhaust bolt. If you don't have a hole saw like this, you can simply make a cut using a trim router. top panel I have to cut out this part so that I can install the transparent red acrylic 
and it will go like this. Now I will put a 12 mm beading on all the sides. That will give me some overlap on the lid also. And then I'll install the acrylic. Our laser enclosure box is now complete. I will remove this protective layer from an acrylic and we will test the light and the exhaust. Now this front panel will not open unless the top panel is opened. So there is no chance of it accidentally dropping or anything. That's why I have not installed any magnets or any other fastener to hold it in place. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and got some good ideas for making your own laser enclosure box. If you have any questions, doubts or suggestions for the project, you can ask in the comment section and I'll answer those for you. And if you liked the video, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep posting more DIY content.